Hey guys, here's another shorty. Today I'm going to talk to you about an engineering marvel. This little device embodies all of the goals of engineering. It's simple, inexpensive, trustworthy, and yet it accomplishes remarkable tasks. Let's have a closer look. Today I'm going to focus on one simple problem. How does fluid in the coolant reservoir here make the journey back uphill to the radiator here? You know, at first glance, it's deceiving. A seal here and one big spring. That spring allows pressure to build in the system and raise boiling point. The spring acts as a relief valve, capping maximal pressure, allowing steam and fluid to escape only when peak pressure is reached. This looks like a one-way valve with no obvious way for fluid to make its way back. You see there's a small hidden pathway inside the cap itself. The seal and weaker spring of that valve point in the opposite direction to the valve of the big spring. This allows negative pressure inside the radiator to siphon back up into the radiator as the engine cools. So when radiator pressures are high, that hidden passage is snapped shut and trapped hot gas inside the radiator can escape past the big spring, bubbling through the reservoir and out to atmosphere. You park and shut off the car, and over the next few hours, the fluid and residual gas inside the radiator cool and contract. And of course, this causes a drop in pressure, falling slightly below atmospheric pressure. That small pressure difference opens the tiny internal spring, siphoning fluid back up the tube. So, hot gas inside the radiator can flow forward, bubbling to the bottom of the coolant reservoir, and then out to atmosphere. But because of the trap-like design of the system, only fluid returns when flow is reversed. The system burps itself. So here's a radiator cap completely taken apart. Here's that little spring we talked about. There's not much to it. It's simple, inexpensive, ingenious. Thanks for watching.